What is up, everybody? As promised, we are going to be reviewing our Pokemon Center, which is a custom design. Uh, so without further ado, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's go ahead and get straight on into this because there's a lot to see and I really want to show it off. Also, stick around to the end of today's video. I will showcase some of my Pokemon collection uh, now that I have it out. So uh, if you're excited, let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and take a review. And we're actually going to go ahead and place this in our LEGO City for now. So without further ado, let's jump straight on into it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and do our fun review because this thing is epic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take off each floor and we'll just kind of go through it uh, layer by layer because I think that's probably the best way I'm doing this. Uh, all right. So to kick things off, we do have our first floor. We have our Charmander and our a little Pikachu. Let me go ahead and raise this just for you guys to see. Uh, I love this brick built Charmander. And the Pikachu, he looks kind of funky, but he looks good. I think the Charmander is the best. I'd love to do, uh, you know, Bulbasaur and Squirtle just to get the, the starters going. But here's our first floor. It's uh, our Pokemon Center, our Healing Center. Uh, I love the details. This thing really came out incredible. Uh, there is some modifications that I would like to go ahead and do uh, maybe in a different video. But for now, I just want to show you a little bit inside. It's fully, fully detailed inside. Uh, I got some vending machines you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they have like poke healing things, all that, all that stuff, guys. Uh, and then you can see our Pokeballs. I wish I had a pointer right here. So on our healer, I think that's really, really does showcase that very well compared to like video games and the show. Uh, then you have your screen. I'm thinking about having my good buddy Tabletop Bricks do some custom prints. Uh, then you have like your world map here on this side. Uh, and of course the ground is the Pokeball. <laughs> it looks so, so good. Uh, I don't want to get too in-depth with it, guys. I think uh, the video is worth a thousand words, so I'll let you guys kind of get your per perception on it, but uh, I am very proud of this set. I love the way it came out. Huge thank you to Kim. Uh, and then on our second floor, uh, I'll give you a quick glance inside. Uh, this is like your Pokemart. You know, you can buy all your healing potions, your Pokeballs, uh, your the whole thing, right? <laughs> you guys have played the game. If you're watching this video, you most likely are a Poke fan like myself. Uh, there's just a bunch of walls of goodies. You do have your double staircase going up. That's kind of uh, mirrored. I like that. I like <laughs> I like consistency in a build, so I thought that was good. Uh, one thing, oops, one thing I wanted to change up were probably these little sections. I wanted to, I don't know, touch them up, make them look a little bit different, a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, as we get there, but really impressed with how that's coming out. And probably one of my favorite floors is our gym. This is supposed to be Sabrina's gym, and it gives me that vibe. Um, if you haven't seen that episode, highly recommend it. It's my favorite episode uh, as a kid. I believe that was, yeah, season one. So Indigo League. Uh, I love the purple. I think the purple really brings it out. Uh, and it's just psychic. She's the psychic trainer. And uh, I think that fits this quite best. So uh, that's where we were going with that floor. Uh, and then I did knock off this piece right here. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and tack it up right there. It's not perfect. But uh, then we did go ahead and go with a transparent roof uh so we could see into our pokemon gym um wow it looks great so let's go ahead and get this place in our city and uh do like a little bird's eye view of it and talk about some other key points that i like i did like how the roof was a little sloped in the back i thought that's it's the little things it really is it is the little things in the back uh it's pretty bland but um what can you expect right <laughs> it's kind of what i wanted and it is a very massive building come on come to compare it to some of the other modular buildings uh, it, it is very big, so I'm very content with how this thing came out. It is, oh, it's 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 my dream set. It really is. I, I wish uh, Lego had a uh, <laughs> rights with Pokemon. I think it would take things to the next level, just because I'm such a big Pokemon fan. Uh, but this one, I really do love it. <laughs> and I'm happy to have this in my Lego city. Um, unfortunately, others may not be able to get this, uh, but. Uh, and if you are curious on how much this cost, uh, maybe I can follow up on a comment or something. But it. It was rather expensive for all the pieces on BrickLink, but you guys know the prices of BrickLink. So when you want the pieces you exactly want, uh, you pay for it. So I was very content with paying for it because uh, this set I've been wanting for a very long time. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this placed and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, for now, I'm going to be placing it next to our skyscraper modular uh, because I think it looks good for the most part here. And this whole area is subjective to change. Um, but I think for now, we're gonna put it right here because. Uh, it's something you're going to see as soon as you walk in. Of course, you're going to see our modular uh, skyscraper because it's so big uh, and we're making it bigger. 
Uh, but you're also going to see this and it looks so, so good. Uh, it really does take it to the next level. Maybe I'll switch sides with it uh, and put this next to probably one of my favorite buildings, which was from a good friend uh, who donated it to the channel, gave it to me. Uh, I, I really do appreciate this. It's such a beautiful set. I think they go hand in hand. It's kind of like my mock street. <laughs> so maybe maybe let's go ahead and switch that. Uh, I guess we could do a live on camera because why not? <laughs> and we could see how, uh, if I can manage to pick this up without breaking it. Uh, this is a very large building. If you haven't checked out uh, that set, you should definitely do so in a previous video because <laughs> that's this modular skyscraper is going to be quite epic. So getting the full taste of the Lego City to, in today's video in our Pokemon Center. Uh, it does need some work, but we'll get to it at a later video. Wow, I think that looks a lot better. <laughs> okay, here we are. We do have our Pokemon Center now live in the Lego City. Oh my gosh, it looks incredible. So probably two of my favorite buildings, my Pokemon Center, and then my half uh, modular apartment. I love the color around this. Gosh, it really brings out the Pokemon Center, I think, with the, the like grays and the dark blues. I think it just adds to it. Uh, the only thing I do notice is like the purple in Sabrina's Gym. Can't really see it well just because of the tint of the blue, but you know what? Big deal. I cry about it in my sleep. <laughs> there it is. There's our Pokemon Center in our lego city it looks fantastic i want to know what you guys think in the comments below wow guys it looks absolutely incredible i know we haven't worked on this part of the city it's pretty bland but check that out it looks really really good oh my gosh it's such a unique building that really just comes alive in the lego city and it, it looks pretty good next to our skyscraper that needs a lot of work so we'll, we'll cut it out like that <laughs> no but there you guys go it's Exciting to see that in my Lego City. What an awesome time building this set. I would like to do some custom Pokemon just to spice it up a little bit. Maybe like have our forest section over here. Maybe we'll like when we get our our, our castle in there, uh, we buy and build a castle. We'll have the knights like fighting off some Pokemon or something. I don't know, something like completely different. And I think that's probably the way to do it just because my personality, I think that fits me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you made it all the way to this part of the video, Let's go ahead and show you some of my Pokemon collection because uh, you might be excited to see some of it. All right, guys, if you're like me and you want to geek out, this is probably a section of the video for you because I <laughs> have some awesome Pokemon cards. Let's go ahead and just get straight on into it. Um, <laughs> I don't know how the best way to show some of these off. Uh, but all right, here we go. A Shadowless Venusaur. These are cards from when I was a kid. A Shadowless Hitmochan. Uh, these are ungraded because they are cards from when I when I was a kid. And lightly played. So a Vaporeon Star, a base set two Charizard, a Blastoise, I believe, a base set. <laughs> Again, I'm just looking at these and trying to tell. A base set Venusaur. I, I don't know why. Venusaur is just one of my favorite cards. Uh, first edition, Machomp. Uh, Entei in a movie promo. Is it or is that the legendary collection? I, he, I think he's part of the legendary collection. Uh, but I, I think this is the movie promo. Yeah, so. Beautiful card that is. I love, check that, <laughs> check out the hollow on it. Nine Tails. I could just go down on the list, guys. Gyarados, Nidoking, or is that Nidoqueen? Yeah, Nidoking, Mewtwo, which you've seen in the earlier part of today's video where I had a PSA Shadowless 10 Mewtwo. I am one of 69 owners of this card in the PSA 10, and I thought that was incredible. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you because that's really, really cool. And you can check. <laughs> the prices on some of these uh you could type in that SKU number or you could check on ebay a psa 10 shadowless mewtwo and it's it's crazy where the prices have gone on some of these i'm fortunate to not pay nearly that so <laughs> but mewtwo's always been one of my favorite characters uh pokemon uh, mew ex so many dragonites <laughs> dragonite ex i know that card's blowed up over the past just a whole ton i'm very proud of this collection guys uh let's go ahead and show some of the charizards that I have because that's probably something a lot of people are more interested in. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't have a Shadowless PSA 10 Charizard, unfortunately, but here's some other cool Charizards that are off the list. This one is uh, a Rainbow Charizard V Star. This is a more modern day card. Uh, <laughs> he looks absolutely incredible. What a beautiful card. I don't even know how much some, something like this goes for, you know, maybe, you know, 100 and 200 bucks. Um, even being such a modern day card, which is crazy. Uh, some of the cards on prices on these cards are absolutely expensive. A Charizard V, uh, this is a, another modern day Pokemon card. Um, good to add to the collection, but uh, here's some more Charizards in a lot. Uh, an M Charizard EX, beautiful Charizard here. I love the like Chinese writing over it. Um, or is that Japanese? I'm sorry. Um, 
very very beautiful pokemon card that one is uh, another charizard ex uh not a huge fan of this art but another charizard is a charizard lance's charizard v uh <laughs> lance is a trader i think that's yeah from pokemon 25 year anniversary 20 yeah 25th very cool card you can only get that one in a uh it's like a promo so uh we do have a uh 25 year anniversary charizard we have a bunch of these <laughs> i pulled these for packs so there's four of those in the 25 year anniversary i'm not charmander off his little little legs but awesome card let's go ahead and show some of the graded stuff that i have and one of the like some of the the sets that i'm actually trying to complete uh i think you guys may be interested in that all right start things off we do not have a very nice magneton but he has a PSA 3 Magneton. <laughs> Shadowless, of course. Uh, before we get into the Shadow Collection, I do, I forgot this one. I have a Dark Charizard in a PSA 9. So it is mint. Uh, I wonder how much he goes for. Probably kind of a couple hundred bucks, even in a 9. Uh, he is not the first edition, but uh, he is Team Rocket. So very beautiful card. Unfortunately, it is not a 10, but it is what it is. I did win this in a giveaway. <laughs> so I thought I showed off. It's 25 year anniversary Japanese. Blastoise, very cool card as well. All right, on to some of our PSA, uh, almost all 10s. Our Mute, or Nine Tails is in a nine. Uh, this is pretty expensive card as well. Probably a few hundred. Um, it is Shadowless, it is a PSA nine, and it is number 12 on that list. I would love to get a full set of these Shadowless cards, so it's kind of where I'm going. I do have the, uh, the Mewtwo like I was showing. What an awesome card. I still have it in a sleeve. But there you go, um, PSA 10 Shadowless Mewtwo, what an epic card. All right, next up on the list is a PSA 10 Doug Trio. Uh, he is a PSA 10, and he is Shadowless. So I do love my Shadowless cards. The next one on the list is a Raticate and a Shadowless PSA 10, of course. Why would I not have a PSA 10? <laughs> There's 102 cards in uh, the Shadowless collection, and I think I have like, I don't know, between 15 and 20, so... We have a long ways to go. I do want to collect, I think, this whole set. I think that's going to be one of my life goals. I think uh, that's a that's a pretty good life goal. I believe the Charizard from the one card in this pack is, a, I think he's, the lowest I've seen is about $150,000. So I don't know if we'll ever get him, but <laughs> uh, here's his base set, Charmander and a PSA 10. Um, it's kind of crazy. He's now, I can't really find him for under like 200. So a very, very beautiful card. PSA 10 Shadowless Charmander. Next, we have a PSA 10 Ghastly. Uh, the reason I'm going after the Shadowless cards, guys, is because um, it's so nostalgic to me. It really is. <laughs> these are cards I collected as a kid. Uh, and it's just awesome to own these as an adult and just kind of have them in a the collection. You know, we collect Lego, but uh, it's kind of something similar. So if, if you can relate to me in any way or form uh, on this, Check it out because I'm I'm having a blast here. Here's a Machomp and a PSA 10. Another epic looking uh, Shadowless card. Uh, Nidoran in a PSA 10. Uh, Shadowless, of course. My my slabs. My slabs are my graded cards. That's what they call them. Uh, they're basically all Shadowless <laughs> for the most part. Uh, everything else I don't I don't really need. So uh, we have a Starmie in a PSA 10 Shadowless. And to be honest, I actually have two of these. I'm not sure why and how, but I did get two of these. <laughs> And then the last one I have out of that collection is um, the gym card. So it is the Fighting Energy uh, PSA 10 Shadowless. So I'm actually, I'll be honest with you, I'm not quite sure how to tell if the energy cards are Shadowless. Um, I would assume it's something to do with like this top layer up here. But for those of you who don't know, the way to tell a Pokemon card if it is Shadowless um, is kind of difficult, I guess. Um, <laughs> You're probably wondering, like, what the heck is Shadowless? <laughs> All right, so this Charizard is not a part of the Shadowless collection. Uh, the way you could tell that is... Da, 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 da. Oh, it's kind of hard to see on camera. Uh, it's... It, All right, this little section over here. So you can tell by the coloring. So on the coloring, it's a lot darker. Uh, and it doesn't cast, like, a shadow in the border. Whereas the, the Mewtwo, right over here is bright colored it's it's considered shadowless it's considered a misprint in the pokemon verse um so that's kind of how you tell i 
probably there's way better videos how to explain it better than I am can, but you can notice it on some cards way easier. Like this one is all light, uh, the light blue all the way through. Uh, so it's really hard to <laughs> kind of tell on camera, but in person, I could look at this and be like, okay, that's shadowless. But then again, I am pretty geeky. Like I said, the Venus Oralu that was shadowless is color compared to, hold on, I have a, here you go. So these, this is two Venusaurs, right? One is shadowless, one is, one is not. So can you tell the difference? The one, this one right here is shadowless and this one is not. You can tell by the sliver of green on that side. So if we line them up close, should be able to tell right there. You can see it's a lot darker and on this side, it's a lot lighter. So that's kind of how I tell. But yes, that's it for now. I, I don't want to go too in depth. I don't want to make this video too long. That's a lot of Pokemon cards. I have a lot of Pokemon cards, a lot from when I was a kid. I have a lot more graded, um, but that's some of my favorites. So uh, to be honest with you, that's literally some of my favorites. And I want to share that with you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like our Pokemon Center? Uh, does it fit <laughs> my personality and some of our Pokemon collection? I think it does. <laughs> and I think what we're going to do is... Um, Every time I record a video in the city, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a stand up here and showcase a Pokemon card. I think that'd be really cool. And if you notice it, you can always call it out in a future video. But anyways, that's it for today. I'm, it's going on too long of a video. And uh, if you want to see a part two and see more of the Pokemon collection and more of the, the modular, let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Stud City, out.